Do you want to play arcade games on your jailbroken Xbox 360? Well, with the MAME emulator, you can. Let me show you how. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. With a modded Xbox 360, you can do a lot more than just play Xbox 360 games. So whether you're using a hard modded console or you're running the bad update exploit, you have access to a whole range of homebrew emulators to run retro console and computer games directly on your Xbox. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up an emulator called MAME, which will turn your console into an arcade machine, with almost every game ever released before 2000. So, let's get started. Now there are a number of ways to install homebrew apps, but the best and easiest way is to use something called the Homebrew Store. Now for this, you'll need to install the Aurora dashboard onto your Xbox. Now I've covered this in both my RGH3 and my bad update videos, so please do refer to those if you're not sure how to manually install apps. But once you've got it installed, you should end up on the dashboard with a list of your installed apps and games. So from here, we need to make sure that the console is connected to the internet. Now with an RGH console or, or bad update active, this is safe as both of these exploits will block traffic to the Microsoft servers while still allowing us to connect to other online services. So, so press your Xbox guide button and navigate to the settings page and then select system settings. So say yes to any prompts and you should now be on the standard dashboard. So go down to network settings and then connect either to your Ethernet network or your wireless network. So once you've got that active, you should be able to test the Xbox Live connection and you should see that although we're connected to the net network, the console can't find the Microsoft servers. And that's of course just what we want. So we now need to get back to the Aurora dashboard. So click the guide button and then either select the Aurora option or click Y to go back to the home screen. Now, if, you, if you've been following along with my installation videos, um, then this should take you back to the Aurora dashboard. Uh, otherwise, you might need to go back through the XEX menu route. So with that set up, we can now install the Homebrew Store if you haven't done that already. So we'll go through the process quickly here, um, but you can always check out my Homebrew Store video for more information. So in Aurora, click the Back button to go to the System menu. Then select the Scripts option and then the Aurora repo browser. So this should connect to the web and then show you a list of script categories. So these scripts are basically apps that add functionality to the Aurora dashboard. So we want to go to the utility scripts and then install the homebrew store script. So select yes to install it. And once that's confirmed, we can then just use the B key to get back out to the main Aurora dashboard. Now to use the homebrew store, um, we need to go back into the system menu with that back button, select scripts, and you should now see the homebrew store listed. So select this, and the script will then go off and download the latest content, and then show you a list of its repositories. So we want to open the emulator section, which should then present you with a list of emulators that we can install directly onto our Xbox 360. Now, as you can see, there is a good range of retro consoles that we can emulate, and I will be covering the setup of a number of these in upcoming videos. But for now, we just simply want to find the MAME 0.72 listing. Now, if you select that, you'll get a pop-up window with some details about the app and where it's going to be installed. So this app is going to be saved onto our hard drive in an emulators folder and then in a folder called MAME 360. Now we need to remember this location as we'll need to connect the app to Aurora. But all we need to do now is just simply select yes to install the app and that will download the files and install MAME for us automatically onto our console. Now while this is downloading, uh, don't worry if it looks like it's stalled at sort of 10% or, or, or something. Um, that is just the way that this one works. So just, just let it sit there 
Uh, and mine took about a minute or two minutes to get through this process. Um, so just, just wait and it will download and install itself. So once that installation is finished, we need to then back out again to our main dashboard. Now this time we need to go into the settings menu by clicking the start button. Then we need to go to content. Uh, and Aurora uses things called paths to find games and apps. So we need to tell it that we've added an app in the emulators folder. Now, if you've already set up this, um, then you can skip this step. Otherwise, go to the add button under manage paths. With that, we then need to change the location. So that will show you your um, drives on your console. So we need to open up our hard drive and then highlight the emulators folder. So, so don't open the emulators folder, we just need to highlight it and then we can select it with the Y button. And, and this will then go back and set the path for us. Next we need to go down to the depth slider and change that depth to 3. And then we can go down and to the right to the save button and save this new path. So once the path is added, we can highlight the scan now button and select that to get Aurora to have a look for any new apps. So if we now use that B button again to get back out to our main dashboard, if we scroll along here, um, we should be able to find that main emulator listed amongst all of our games. Well, that's MAME installed and ready to go. And as you can see, this homebrew store does, does make the installation of apps incredibly easy. But the default MAME installation doesn't contain any games. So let's sort that out next. So back into our dashboard, if we go to our system menu with the back button, we have something called a file manager here, and that lets us look at all of our drives. So if we come down to our hard drive, the main emulator we said was in the emulators folder under main 360. And if we scroll down here, um, we'll see that there is actually a folder here for the ROMs. And um, these are where the game files need to go. So if I go in there at the moment, you'll see that there's nothing in that. But we need to sort of copy all of our game files across to this ROMs folder. So let's see how we can get hold of the actual game files themselves. Now, main ROM sets, um, which is the actual sort of game files, they are quite a complicated topic. Um, and again, <laughs> It's a bit hard to understand how they all fit together. To, to make that a bit easier, I have produced a couple of videos in the past which explains how they're built together, how you can get hold of them, and, and how you can build your own ROM sets. Um, but for this video here, we're just going to make the whole process just a whole lot easier. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a reference ROM set and we're going to use a MAME 2003 reference ROM set. So, so MAME 2003 matches with the 0.78 version of MAME that we are using on the Xbox. Now the, these, these reference sets, they actually contain every game all in one download. Now that does mean then that we are going to have quite a large download, so this is 35 gigabytes. Um, but um, it, it also means then that you're going to end up with around about four and a half to five thousand arcade games on your console, um, which is obviously a bit of an overkill uh, and a lot of games you will probably never play. But um, to, to individually cherry pick the games that you want, um, you do need to understand how these ROM sets are built uh, and you can get yourself into a bit of a pickle um, you, you can't just download one ROM file for one game. Uh, games tend to be inter interdependent upon each other. So to get one game working, you might have to download a number of other game files and BIOS files. Again, I, I do explain that in my uh, main ROM videos. Um, but say, for this, we're just going to make the whole process easy. And we're just going to take that 35 gigabyte hit and just install the whole set in one go. Uh, now obviously these ROM sets, you will have to find them out there on the internet, it's not that hard to find them, and again archive.org is a great place to go and look for these. Um, and we are looking for the MAME 2003 ROM set. Uh, again, um, you, you do have to make sure as well that your ROM sets match the version of MAME you're working, so it, it does start to get complicated. So. I'm just going to assume that you have gone off and you have found a suitable ROM set and that you have downloaded it onto your computer. 
To get our main ROMs onto our Xbox, we're going to need some method of transferring them from our PC to the console. Uh, so I find the easiest way is to use a USB drive. So I have here a USB drive plugged into my computer and I have already copied my main ROMs onto here. So if, if I um, open that up and open up the properties, Again, um, do make sure that you use an FAT32 formatted drive. If you use any of the other formats, um, the Xbox will probably not be able to read them. So, so make sure that you do format it to this. So if I come into my drive here, um, again, I I've used this drive here for transferring a number of other ROM files around. Um, so again, uh, <clears throat> you can see here there's lots of other different um, console games in here. But the ones that we're interested in here are my main 2003 ROM sets. So if I go into that, here are the actual ROMs that we need to copy across. Now, the folder inside MAME, as we saw, was called ROMs. Now, the file explorer, the file manager inside Aurora, um, it's, it's very good at copying folders across, but if you want to copy lots of files, you have to individually select them. And of course, there are a lot of files to select in here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to rename this folder here and I'm going to rename it ROMs so that will match exactly with the folder name in our main installation on the Xbox. So all I will have to do is copy this folder across to my Xbox and it will then drop all of those individual files that are inside that into the correct place. So that's how we're going to do it without having to copy individual files. So I have my transfer disk here, FAT32 formatted, and I have a folder inside there which is named ROMs, and inside that is all of my main ROM set. So let's go and plug this into the Xbox and copy those files across. So I've just plugged the USB drive into my Xbox, and there you can see that Aurora has recognised that. So if we use our system menu, and then go to our file manager, if I go down to my USB drive, I should find, so I put it in my ROMs folder, and then there is a folder in here, which is ROMs with the lowercase. So this is the one that has got all of my main ROMs in there. So if I open that up, and again, because there's so many files in here, the, the file explorer or the file manager inside Aurora will take a little bit of time just to read those. So you can see here we have a, a large number of files, and these are all the games and various associated files that go with that. So if I come back out of here, so that is the folder that we need to copy across. So to do that, I need to highlight the folder here. I press X to select it. And you see the little check mark comes up there. I can then use the D-pad to go to the left onto the sidebar menu. Down the bottom, we have a, a option here, copy. So I'm going to copy that folder. We're now going to go back up and find where we want to put it. So remember, it's on our hard drive and it's in our emulators folder and our main 360. So inside here we have a folder called ROMs. So we're going to copy our ROMs folder into this main 360 folder and that will then just merge those two folders together. So I'm, I'm in the right folder here. If I then use my left button and down to the very bottom we have a paste function and I can paste my ROMs in here. And it says yes, I'm sure that I want to paste those in. And then we just need to make sure that we just let that run through. And again, with there being about 30 gigabytes of files, it is going to take a little bit of time. So once those files have finally copied over, if we have a look inside our ROMs folder, we should then find that we have all of those um, arcade games all filed away inside here. So let's just let that come up. And, and, and there we go. We've got all of our files in there. So let's come back out of this all the way out to our main dashboard. And if we come across and find our main app, which is there, uh, we can then start that up. And hopefully we will now have some games inside main. And, and there we go. So we've got these in here. And again, we, we now have, as it says there, three and a half thousand games. Um, so there's, there's quite a big list here. So we now need to just get a, a bit of a hang of which buttons to use inside MAME to get around. So obviously we've got our, our D-pad lets us travel up and down the list here. 
Now, if we want to get down to the bottom of the list, that's going to be, take a long time. So our, our left and right trigger buttons are page up and page down. So if I press my um, right trigger, I go down a page. And if I hold it down, you can see that we can now get around the um, menus just a little bit faster. And again, I can go back up again with the other button. So let's find a game um, which would be good to play. So let's see if we can find Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong in here somewhere. So there's Donkey Kong. So if I select that with the A button, that should then launch that game. And again, we are running the actual arcade code from this. Now, um, this does run then the, the main ROMs, and they do usually use computers with keyboards. So you can see here it's talking about pressing OK to continue. Um, OK on this is so your left um, joystick, if you move that, it's, it's either left or right. So if I try it right, try it left. Uh, so to just move it left and right, I think. I think you have to move it left and right, and that will then take you through these. So it's now just telling us a little bit about the game itself. And we're now into the game. So again, it, it is emulating arcade machines, which of course needed some money to play. So your back button will put money into the system. So we put some credit in. And then the start button will press the start button. We'll press the, one, the player one button. And there we are into Donkey Kong. So once you're in the game, you can either use your D-pad or, or your left joystick to, to move around. And again, your buttons then will do the various button functions. So this button here, uh, so I'm using my D-pad. The, the A button is my jump. If I come down here. And you can see that we now have our full Donkey Kong game up and running on our Xbox. So that gives you sort of enough then to get the games up and running. There are um, two other buttons which you should be aware of on the system. So say we've, we've done the back button puts money into the game and the start button presses the player one start. Um, but there is a on the right thumb, um, on the right joystick, if you press down on that, and I think that's the R3 button, that will take you into sort of the settings and input mappings. Now, I would advise you probably don't play around in that. The The Xbox controller has been mapped pretty well to the games. Um, if you go in there and start messing about with it, you can lock yourself out of the system. Um, so I'd probably just leave that alone. On, on the L3 button, so pressing down on the left joystick, that takes you into a menu which lets you change things like the sort of... Um, volume control and brightness and and so on and again pressing the button again takes you back out of that menu but those two then let you just sort of have a little bit of a, a, a final setup of the system but after that then um, every, pretty much everything then is mapped pretty well on on the buttons at, by default now, now the only thing which I, I couldn't work out how you get out of the game um, the only way I, th I can see to get out of it is to press the guide button and then go back to the Aurora home but that of course does take you right out to the Aurora menu um, I, there didn't seem to be a game exit which would take you back to MAME itself now, now if anybody does happen to know um, what the button is for that and I have pressed a lot of different combinations on here none of them seem to work um, what we'll do please let me know in the comments down below. So that's you up and running with MAME running on your Xbox 360. And as you can see, that gives us access to literally thousands of retro arcade games. So obviously there are a whole load of other consoles and computers that you can emulate with your Xbox 360 and I will be covering those in some new videos um, so do make sure that you subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss those as I release them. If you've enjoyed this content please do click that like button uh, and again um, don't forget that I do lots more modding, gaming, electronics and making videos. So I look forward to seeing you again very soon and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.